Good flipping morning to you. It's me again. What am I doing today? Well, are we going for a walk around Rivington Pike? Uh, I know that's that is a fact. Wait up, just got something in my hair real quick. Um, anyway, digressing. So we're going for a walk to Rivington Pike. Here it's a it's a long walk, a bit of a hefty one, but still Rivington Pike. Um, yeah, so that's going to be something that's happening. I'll uh, see you on the jump cut. Well, it's been a couple of hours now, and um, that, my f that mum's friend Franz, this is where one of my friends lives. Um, yeah, some pretty good stuff right here. So, what we're going to do next is that we're going to be heading on over to the, uh, the Rivington Hall in order to uh, do the walk, because that we're going to the top of Vivington Pike. It's pretty exciting stuff, you know. Um, hope it goes well, and I'll see you in a jump cut. <laughs> we're now at Vivington, we're walking through the car park, getting ready to do the walk. You know, it's quite exciting stuff, you know. So, um, it's quite a walk up the hill, so I won't record all of it. But I will be recording when we get to the top. Isn't that exciting, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. Yes, it is. It, don't you agree, Luke? Yes. <laughs> Want to say anything to YouTube? Not really, not at the moment. Oh. Just make him run on top of the hill and then I'll be like... <gasps> <and> then... <laughs> Catch me outside, how about that? Okay, um, yeah, so... Um, we'll be uh, getting ready to walk up the hill. We'll see you on the jump cut. Okay, we have a brief intermission to record this painted pebble. It's apparently this new craze going about where people leave pebbles in mysterious locations for children to pick up. Now this one is clearly a Pac-Man uh, pebble. It looks quite nice actually. Like a nice Pac-Man Pac stone. That's what I just said. It's quite good. Anyway, without further ado, we shall proceed up to the pike. I'll see you in the jump cut. So we're getting up close to the top of the mountain now, I mean not the mountain, the hill and we're coming across the Seven Arches Bridge, it's a Seven Arches Bridge, it's one of the many structures belonging to Lord Leverhume It's appropriately named because there's seven arches, there's one up there and then there's one there, there, that's three four, five, six, seven there's seven arches in the Seven Arches Bridge. And this is like Lord Leverhume's, uh, part of Lord Leverhume's old estate. It's this, it's almost like a holiday home that he built. It's a holiday home that he's built. It's a holiday home he's nearly bit, he's built. Primarily, well I'm not sure if it's a holiday home or his actual home, but I mean, he built it and he built a lot of stuff. It's like a Japanese garden. There's a castle, a castle that looks, that was built exactly to match the ruins, match some ruins in Wales. Yeah, you know, it's a lot of stuff. If you don't know who Lord Leverhulme is, he, uh, he made Sunlight Soap, which like basically revolutionised modern soap as we know it, you know. He is like the first person to make soap as we know it today. Um, so yeah, I think that's all for now. I'll see you on now, the very close to the top of the pike. Um, you can see this room where Lord Leverhulme's house used to be. This is what is left of his floor tiling. And it's like this. And uh, this is where the uh, entrance it used to be. I'm not sure if it's the kitchen or not, but that was definitely a doorway from what I can see. It's like there's... Yeah. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty exciting stuff. You know, I, we're very close to the top now. I'll see you in a jump. We're pretty much at the top of the hill now, but this is like the last stop before the hill, top of the hill. This is the Pigeon House. One of the last two surviving structures belong of Lord Leverhulme's house. One of the last two of them. Now, I presume this is where Lord Leverhulme kept his pigeons, of course, since it's the Pigeon House. You know, I highly doubt you'll see any pigeons coming in or out now, but you could use to see them. 
you know, it's like a shame. I mean, I mean, I wish they could have rebuilt this place because it was a simply a beautiful little place. Simply amazing. And uh, you may as well get your first taste because I'm at the top. This is your part of the view. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. Seems they've damaged the path down there. I think they're building a new one. Um, but yeah, well, I'll sit at the top now. I'll see you when we're at the pint. Well, we're at the top of the mountain now, top of top of the hill at Rivington Pike. It's an amazing view. Let me just zoom in. It's an absolutely amazing view. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's not it's not worth the exhaust physical exhaustion while well, it is, okay. It's worth all the exhaustion in the planet. Just to see this for a few seconds. There we go. Yeah, what a view this is, ladies and gentlemen. It's a beautiful view. It's like the wind surprisingly calm. And so behind me Oh, sorry. Behind me is the pike itself. The actual big tower. You can, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's a ton of like uh, carvings. A whole lot of them. Going all the way back to the 1890s. It's amazing. Anyway, I believe that is all I have to say for now. I'll see you on the jump cut. Kitty's back from the vets now, and I think he's absolutely oh. tripping on his medication. He's gone to an absolute vegetable. So you should be alright, don't need to see him again unless we're worried about something and there's uh, some stuff. Um Hello fuzzy one eh? Is he perving? Extra mic chip numbers. What's with that mate? Oh little cat little cats out cold. Uh -huh, it's me. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Um, this is. Oh, here oh. we go. He's no, moving. No, no, no. I'll stop killing this. Oh. Anyway, if you uh, like this video, do be sure to like it and subscribe to it. And share it on your Facebook and Twitter. I'll see you all tomorrow. So he's gone to a coma again. <laughs> he's like, I, I should be doing something when he taps his fingers, but I can't remember what. He's, he's completely gone with the vegetable eyes, hasn't he?